Drone operators could soon get faster clearances to fly in Singapore. The aviation watchdog has put out a tender to develop a system they say could be the first in the world to track unmanned aircraft and handle the paperwork. Nicholas Ng reports. Getting a drone off the ground is tougher than it looks, even for a test flight like this one. And not because of the physics. It's the permits. For the pilot, the organisation and for the specific activity at hand. Getting that last one can take up to a month. Sometimes it can be a challenge because of the unknown on how long that approval process might be. And uh, ultimately, this unknown has to be made known to the customers, our end customers, in order to manage expectations. Uh, but so this in itself can sometimes pose a bit of a challenge um, that we hope to be able to uh, work with CAS to be able to uh, uh, reduce. The Civil Aviation Authority has said that it will develop an Unmanned Aircraft Traffic Management System, or UTMS. This will replace the current process of having five separate systems requiring multiple and duplicate data entries. Besides consolidating paperwork and speeding up approvals for unmanned aircraft, or UA, it will also help relevant agencies keep watch on the skies. The UTMS will also provide situational awareness of all unmanned aircraft operations in Singapore for both agencies as well as UA users. Specifically for UA users, they will be able to better plan and execute the operations with the situational picture. The move to consolidate those applications into a single platform comes as the government promised to ease regulatory burdens on companies. For its part, the Civil Aviation Authority of Singapore earlier reduced the costs, the legal costs at least, of drone light shows. If, for example, a show were to use over a thousand drones, it would originally cost over $25,000. Now, it costs just five hundred. One expert says that developing the system might be another step in getting some wind under innovation's wings. CIS will be fostering an environment that encourages both innovation and growth in the unmanned aircraft sector. So this may pave the way for new and advanced applications that we might not imagine, such as urban drone deliveries, um, rapid emergency response, environmental monitoring, and also urban air mobility, to name a few. Companies with expertise in air traffic management systems have until the 31st of January 2025 to submit their proposals.